Hello, welcome to another video. This is Pam with Old School Budgets and I'm coming to you with uh, my 100 envelope challenge that I will be doing today. Um, I wanna thank you guys for following me on my journey. And um, I started this journey on March 1st and I said that I wanted to do it in 90 days because I had some home repairs that I wanted to get done. And um, today is May the 7th and I'm glad to report to say that I'll be finishing this one up today. Uh, first of all, I wanna tell you how I came up with this 1955, 1955, $1,955. Um, as you know, I moved from a larger house to a smaller house. Well, these last week or so, I have been selling stuff out of my storage unit um, just because someone uh, had asked me, did I have a certain thing? And I told her, yeah. So uh, in a previous life, I used to do pedicures. And this young lady, she needed a pedicure chair. So I said, well, I have one in my store. So I looked her up on, on um, I hit her up on Messenger. And so we went back and forth. So I was able to sell that. And then once I made it to my storage, she wanted some other things. So it was just really her and then she told someone else that I had like my sewing machine and other things. So I was just selling some different stuff. So that's how I came up with my extra $700 because I was only going to uh, stuff 900 today. And then I had 700 from my sales. So um, I ended up just getting $300 out of my additional $300 from my checking account uh, for my payday. So that's how I got the 55 so 355 so i got additional 355 so i've been busy these last you know eight or nine days um so i'm gonna stop with all the rambling i'm gonna go ahead this is gonna be a kind of long video so i know if you want to fast forward go ahead but i want to go ahead and stuff these last 29 envelopes so that i can finish this 100 envelope uh challenge okay so i want to thank you guys for follow me on my journey. I do have some other things in store that I will be starting um, after I finish this one. Um, so these are the 29 envelopes and I'm going to move these out of the way just for a second and um, do my calculator and I'm just going to count my money. So that is 100. Let's put this in half here. 20, 40, 60. Uh, it's got to be over a thousand, so I'm gonna count in ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45, 46. 47, 48, 49, and 50. 50, that's 1,000. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. That's 600. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. That's 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's 100. 5, 10, 15. That's 115. And the ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 1955. So yeah, I'm so, so, so excited uh, about this. Um, I guess I ever told you guys what I was gonna be doing with this money. Um, I need a new roof. So a roof is really, really important. And that's why I was rushing to get this done. And um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I wanted to get it done this summer while the, when the rain stopped and everything. So that's why I was pushing for May 30th, but I'm starting early 
and so I'll be calling uh, the roofer um, tomorrow or the next day to try to make plans to uh, come on out and get started. So yeah, I need a roof. 5,000 is not enough. It's actually 8,000, but I already had 3,000. So I want to get 5,000 as quick as I could so that I can go ahead and get my roof. So the roof is really $8,000, but I already had three. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to thank you guys again so much for just uh, watching me through this journey. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Pam. I'm Old School Budgets. I do budgeting. I do budget with me's. I do cash envelope stuffings. Um, I do sinking funds. Um, and right now I am doing a 100 envelope challenge to pay off uh, a roof. So I'm just going to stuff. Hopefully I have the denominations. Um, but I added up all of these and it equals to $1,751. Um, but again, some of those up here, if you recall that I didn't put all the money in there, I just did the most that I could. So that's why I have a little extra. So we're just going to see what happens when I do my unstuffing. Okay. But I think I have enough because I overstuffed in some and I may have missed a few dollars in some others. So I think, um, I just had to do the best I could because I didn't have the denominations. So we're going to start with this first one, 48, one, two, three. This is 48. So yeah, so this weekend I went to my niece's graduation. She graduated with her bachelor's degree in education and she's going to be a teacher in the um, third, no, second grade. So I'm very proud of her. Uh, again, I've been um, taking Paisley to her baseball, this is her mom that's graduated, that graduated yesterday, and Paisley is her daughter, so I have, um, oh my, here's another one that's stuck, I swear. I'm not going to deal with that one, that right there. Some of these are stuck, okay. Yeah, Paisley has been uh, playing baseball, and, um, she has game, she has practice twice a week and then she has a game every week. So I've been kind of taking her so her mom can work. And so now that her mom has graduated, um, she'll be leaving Walmart on oh my nail. She'll be leaving Walmart and then starting school in in uh, the end of June. So thankful for that. Uh, the teachers in Arkansas, they got a raise. They were not getting paid as much, but we have a new governor. Governor Sarah Huckabee, and she gave all the teachers uh, a raise. So the beginning teachers will be starting out at fifty thousand. So that's really good for for my niece. So I'm I'm proud of her for that. Um, she actually graduated a year early. So very very proud. We have another graduation to go to on May the nineteenth. That's our local high school. We have members of our church that are graduating, so I try to support and go to the graduations uh, at the high school graduation. So, so you guys tell me down below if you got somebody graduating and whether they're graduating uh, from and doing. So I actually really don't have anyone else in my family that's graduating this year. Sometimes we have more than one. Uh, but this year is just only my niece is kind of graduating by herself. So that's that's okay. Let me put this right here. So yeah, I decided, I thought about it. Should I stuff these or should I not? You know, I didn't want to take away the thrill of stuffing them and then, you know, not feeling the full effect. I know I didn't stuff a few last week. I just kind of put those together, but I had a rough week with all those practices and stuff, but uh, I think I don't want to steal my joy. I want to stuff as many as I can. I want the total experience. Um, this roof, I really want to get it done. I mean, it's not in bad, bad shape, but if I don't do it now, you know, um, I don't want to wait. So here, this is 57. I'm putting 56 in here, but I know I have more than enough because I only needed 1,700, 1,751, 
and I have 1955, so I'm just gonna go with it. 20, 40, 50. This is 50, 51. I'm putting 50 in here, so we're we'll just. So yeah. So you guys, tell me what you've been up to. I know I haven't done any videos, but I just tell you, we we'll just do 65. I have been running ragged. Don't know if I ever told you guys where I actually work. I work for a state prison. Uh, um, I'm not a security, I'm non-security, so I work in administration. So, um, and it's a lot, it's a lot. It's been a lot on walking back and forth with my foot being sprained but getting better but uh yeah it's a lot you have to always be on your p's and q's uh in an environment like that so yeah but it won't be long now i'm on the other side of it now so uh, i started late in that type of industry i've only been there six uh, this is my sixth year, and I don't plan on only doing but 10 before I retire and start doing something else. So I'm on the other side of it. It's okay. 20, 40, 60, 70. Yeah, so it's a lot of walking, watching your back, being attentive, and everything. So. Let me just stop for a second and put some of these in here. Uh, let's put some of these in here with the rest of them. I'm not going to unstuff today. This is going to be another video to actually unstuff because I am I want to have a right frame of mind when I'm counting to make sure I count it all correctly. And um, But I'm just thankful that I have finished and finished on time and um, that I was blessed to sell some of that stuff out of my storage unit. And uh, it was all really nice stuff. I just knew that uh, I would sell it eventually, but um, let me just cut this. I didn't know what was gonna happen this week. I saw her nails on Facebook and uh, she said that she was actually going into a shop and she needed, um, some things and so I hit her up on messenger and there we have it put that in there okay so now we'll start back okay 71 70 two. we'll just uh we'll just do 75 in here it's okay 68, 20, 40, 68. So yeah, that's what's been happening with me. I miss doing videos. I just knew that, you know, but hey, life be life, and you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's try to find some closer to, okay, 20, 45. This one's 45. So I told myself, hey, I've got to add up. I think I'm going to be doing this in 69 days. It's not like I'm just a speed demon, but hey, a roof is important. And so now you guys can see why I was just so adamant about doing this challenge and staying on top of it and had to put everything else on the back burner um, because I needed to get this done. And that's what this... Uh, business is all about you save for what you want and try not to get in debt and buy what you need pay cash for it and patience patience is the key my nails are horrible but that's okay i don't even care right now i'm i'm so thankful that i got this challenge done so 20 40 60 70 75 so do i have a 75 nope i'm gonna do 74 and um yeah so there's some other things that i want to get done and i'm gonna probably do the same thing uh, i will be starting another challenge but i won't um be putting a deadline on it like so stringent like this i'm just gonna do it 
at my own pace. Uh, this is 66, so this is 70. I'll be doing it at my own pace. Um, and kind of go from there. But I'll be starting back doing my savings challenges. I'll start back doing my mini savings challenges. Uh, 60, 75. Yep, I'm going to start back doing my savings challenges. I miss them. Uh, I purchased quite a few uh, from Etsy. I just haven't pulled them out yet because this took up all my energy. So this is 75. I'll put this in 72. Make sure I have enough. And 76, 67. So here we go. 20, 40, 60. Okay, we'll do 80 for that one, 20, 40, 60. We'll do 60 for that one, 20, 40, 60, 80. We'll do 80 for that one. And I think that we have, let me see, oh, 20, 40, 60, 65, 75. So that'll be over there. Uh, 20, 40, 60. Okay. Yeah. We'll do 75 in this one. probably overstuffed, but that's okay. And then this one is 20, 40, 60, five. We'll deal with that 67. I already put two extra over there. And so yeah, I'm really, really thankful because I want to get this over with. He says it'll probably take about three days, three or four days to do it. I don't know. 20, 40, 60, 80. That'll be fine. And it still wasn't enough room in this box, I guess, because you had so many 20s. Okay. Let's see. We'll put this leftover over here. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. So, I had $900 that I was going to stuff. I had $700 in sales, so that was $1,600, and then I, I had some extra out of my paycheck, so that was $1,955, and then I needed $1,751, so $1,955 minus $1,751 equals $204, so I was supposed to have $204 left out of all of this. So let's just see. So that was 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. So I stuffed the extra 40 something dollars, which is something that I probably needed. Um, but yeah, so that's how I came up with my last little bit that I needed. And I'm so, so thankful for those sales. And I probably need to put the rest of it on Facebook Marketplace because I have a bed, I have coolers, I have extra luggage that I need to sell. Uh, cause I bought some different luggage. So yeah, I think I'll be doing that. I'll be, um, putting all my other stuff on Facebook marketplace probably, or just watch Facebook and see who needs something. So bam, there we go. This is 100 envelope challenge. I'm believing that it's going to be more than the $5,050 that I needed. So, um, in my next challenge, I will, in my next video, I'll be doing an unstuffing somewhere down the line. So for right now, we are going to color it all in. Oh, I'm so thankful. So, it's, so you guys let me know how you felt when you did your uh, 100 envelope challenge. Was you nervous, excited? glad that it was over with did you spend the money was the money just for something that you need to do mine is kind of like on borderline emergency so um hopefully i'll be able to do a challenge that will be more fun and more exciting or something just for me but right now i'm glad that i don't have to charge anything so super glad about that That's one other thing that's off my plate. Uh, when you live in, you know, uh, this house, I don't have a mortgage on it. It was a rental for me. 
and I sold my house um, and I moved back into my rental um, because eventually I'll, I'll be leaving here too to move closer with my son after I retire. And um, so this is just where I am. I'm thankful that I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, if it doesn't work out and I have to stay here, hey, guess what? I got a new roof. So we got to do what we got to do. So continue to set my, I got to continue to set my goals for some other things that I want to get done uh, around here. But this was the main one that I wanted to get done. I think my next one is to make sure that my car is running right. I'm going to uh, beef up my car maintenance fund to probably a quick $2,000. I want to, uh, I wanted to get a, a good run through to make sure I have a, a small, uh, a older model car. It's not that old, it's 2012, I guess it's 10 years old, but anyway, it runs good, it's a Toyota. So um, I just wanna make sure it's going, running all right until I decide that I want to get another car. But right now, I'm not rocking no boats. I am on the road to saving. So. So yeah, this is where I am. Finally, I cannot believe it because I really thought that I was gonna be, I didn't know where it was gonna come from, but um, that young lady really blessed me when she said that she needed a pedicure chair. So yeah, in a formal life, I am a licensed cosmetologist. I used to do hair and nails but my favorite was doing pitties and uh, me and a friend of mine we had a shop together and uh, we had it for about three years and then her husband got sick and then my mom got sick and we just decided to let it go because it was just too much because we both became caretakers and I was uh, still uh, doing nails and stuff out of my house and, and on the weekend so I still had all of that equipment and I paid a lot of money for it, and I just didn't want to just give it away. But I mean, I'm, I'm I'm practically giving this chair. I gave this chair away to her, but I just want to bless her because, you know, nothing ain't nothing wrong with blessing somebody. Because when we were buying stuff for our shop, you know, people blessed us because we were just starting out. So hey, pay it forward is what I say. There we go. There we go. I don't even know how many days it is. It doesn't matter a whole lot. I just know that I'm getting a new roof. And today is the seventh and it is done. There we go. That's my initial. So y'all, thank you so much for watching me, for rooting for me, for encouraging me to go ahead and complete this challenge and get it done. I'm so thankful this money is going to the bank until uh, the roofer says that he's going to do what he needs to do. So my next couple of videos, uh, I got to do what, I, what my next video is. I don't even know what my next video is, but I got to do one before I do my unstuffing. So I always got to do my budget with me. I haven't done a budget with me for April and I won't be doing a budget with me for May. Um, but I'll start back up and do my budget with me for June. So I have a video that I just did talking about just doing a little quick recap on April and May, probably like five minutes to let you guys know that I won't be doing a full fledged video for May. I'm going to start back up doing my videos in June. I've got to recap. I've got to take care of all this business with my roof. So I really will be busy. And I got a couple graduations that I got to go to. And I got, uh, Paisley has got two more games that she has to go to. So that's why I'm going to be really, really busy. Uh, but I will be doing, um, showing you my new uh, savings challenges that I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing a video with that. But guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to my channel. I know I'm all over the place, but that's just me and I'm sorry, but hey, this is life. Um, you know, continue to watch my channel. Please Thank you guys, and you guys have a good night. Bye.